Okay, so what I've got here is my DAT machine. This is a Panasonic Professional Digital Audio Tape Deck SV3700. And it's, it's not turning on right now. It was working just fine. And then one day I went to turn it on, like so, and nothing. It's as if it's not plugged in. Now it is plugged in back there, but it was behaving as if it wasn't. So I suspected... Maybe there is a fuse in there somewhere that's blown. I'm hoping that's the problem. So I'm gonna, I've actually done a little bit of snooping around already. I'm gonna un unplug the, it's just a standard computer cable there. Unplug that, take off the <coughs> top. Okay. So in here, the power transformer is right here uh, at the back left and right over here see, there's a fuse there it looks all cloudy right that, that could be problematic so I'm gonna take that out So there's there's the fuse. We can test that by using a um, multimeter. Move that over there for a second. Get this over here. And so I'm going to get out my multimeter, and it's set on the continuity thing right there. So it just tests whether there's continuity. So when I put these together, it'll go, and if the fuse is good, then I should get that same sound from it when I touch the two ends. Oops, you can't see it there, can you? Uh, I'll put it up on here. Is that, is that visible? Okay, so there's the fuse. If I touch the two ends, it ought to make the sound but it doesn't so it's almost certain that this is the problem here so it took a little while but i ordered some more fuses from an online electronic supply place and this is a replacement fuse look how nice and clear that is that suggests to me that it's brand new we're going to test this one to make sure that it has continuity Okay, we hear a nice strong sound there. That means this one is good. So I'm going to put this new fuse in and then try to power up the DAT and see if it if it's fixed now. Okay. So there it's got to go. So this is a 125 volt 600 milliamp fuse it the original is a 32 millimeter i could not find 32 millimeter i got 30 millimeters instead so hopefully it's still um actually this looks like exactly the same size when i measured it i thought i was getting 32 but anyway i ordered 30 and this is what they sent me so i'm gonna try to pop that in there So the new fuse is in place. Ta-da! And let's go back. Here. I suppose I don't really have to put the top back on, but I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. Make sure that's on. Now let's plug this back in. Moment of truth here. Will it power on? There we go. It powers on. I can open the drawer. And pop a dat in here. Uh, 
looks like it's functioning normally. So that is how you can revive your Panasonic SV3700 if it uh, was working fine before but suddenly became a brick. Check the fuse. If it's the fuse that's bad, it's a very easy fix. And <clears throat> the fuses themselves, I bought 20 of them while I was at it because they wanted so much for shipping at this place. So I've got a whole bag full of them now. The fuses were only like 20, 30 cents a piece, but they wanted like $15 shipping. <laughs> so I ordered a bunch of them. All right, that's that. Hope that's helped somebody out there.